What's up guys? How are you all doing? Well, I'm doing fantastic today. You guys are going to get an amazing workout in. We are going to do a sculpt on that booty with my two trusted friends. We've got Alfie and Penny here. And if you want to know exactly what workouts I do, what I eat every single day, then make sure you head on over to the website. You can also actually get this on iOS and Android. It is my burn by Rebecca Louise 30 Day Get Fit Plan. So you want to know exactly what I do and it even electronically tracks your whole progress and more fun gamification coming as well. So let's get started. We are gonna do 45 seconds on, 15 second rest. We've got a couple of great exercises to do. So I'm gonna play this, we're gonna get going. Guys, are you ready? So you're gonna have a nice wide plie. Okay, so like a plie squat, you can use weights if you want to. And all we're gonna do is plie up and down. Okay, so three, two, one. That's it, so just squeezing up and down. If you wanna drop the weights, you can. If you want to, you can bring them out in front. You can even kind of like move it out, arm it in and out so that you're even getting a double workout. So kind of work your balance a little bit there and also test that coordination. So how are you feeling today? Okay, ask yourself, how am I feeling? Am I ready to give it 100%? Because if you are ready to give it 100%, I am going to give you the best workout that you have ever seen for those glutes. So tap those hips and knees. We've got less than 20 seconds to go on this side. And then we're gonna move into that next exercise. And guys, I might need you to move for this next one, okay? So that's it. So chest is up, tap those hips underneath. And we've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next exercise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a lunge back and you're gonna come forward, okay? So all it is is lunge and then bring it through. So guys, I'm gonna move this here. We're gonna go lunge and then bring it up. That's it, so squeeze. Woo, all the way up. So really make sure that you're pushing down in that supporting heel, and that is what's gonna help you stand up and work those glutes. You can put the weights down, you can hold them here, you can bring them up to the sky if you want to. I'm just gonna hold them here because I really want to work on that glute muscle. So as you go down, push into that heel, press into the heel, and that's what's gonna bring you up. And that's gonna make sure that you're working the glutes, okay? Working those glutes, not those hamstrings, not the quads. You're working that glute muscle. We're gonna work a little bit of that other muscle as well, but we want to focus on those glutes. You've got 10 seconds left here. Keep that chest up for me. Hold on nice and tight to those weights. And let's keep going. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna take it over to the other side. I'm gonna face you guys. <laughs> so let's go through on this other side. Swing it all the way up. Keep that chest lifted for me and then really push through. Now it's important that you want to make sure that you're breathing. It sounds really silly and you're like, Rebecca, of course that we're breathing. <laughs> but it really does make a difference when you inhale and you exhale because you're making sure that you're getting the oxygen to the muscles that's gonna help you with that workout. And lift up, push down into that heel for me. Really squeeze, chest lifted, arms out in front. And squeeze it guys, come on, you're doing incredible. We've gotta keep pushing through on that other side and breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can shake it out. We're gonna twist back onto the other side and all you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up that back foot. So kind of like we did before, we're not gonna take it through this way, we're gonna lift it straight up to the back. So, let's go. Whew. And the dogs are just staying with me this whole time. I love it. And if you're not already following Corey Scott Fitness, Make sure you do, he's got a great ab video where he uses Alfie as a pillow. <laughs> That's it. So what you're doing here is making sure that knee doesn't go over the toe and you're lifting that extended leg up and squeezing your glutes. So really push down into that heel. So it's the supporting leg, that bent leg here that is lifting you up. Chest nice and high. Uh, you're feeling so good guys. Let's keep it going. Let's stay really strong on this. We're gonna go over to the other side. In five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, other side. We've got a 15 second rest, guys. How are you feeling? You're feeling pretty chilled. Okay, so that's it. Take a nice big lunge back. Get that weight nice and secure. You can hold it right here in front of you, keeping everything else engaged. And let's lift up that back foot. Let's go. 
breathing and out. Now the other really important thing guys is that when you're exercising you don't just want to have water okay because water is not going to get you hydrated through the workout you want to make sure that you've got electrolytes in your water and I always use the same product a really great sports drink that's going to boost your metabolism it's going to give you energy and stay hydrated so if you want all details for everything I take pre-workout post-workout what I have for breakfast it's all available on my nutrition plan and I coach you guys one on one to make sure that you're getting those results. Lift up. Squeeze, push into that heel for me for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out. How are we feeling? Let's take a big breath in together. Because we've got to inhale. And we're going to exhale. So, next exercise, you're going to go deadlift here all the way and then squat down. Okay, so let's take it through. Stick that booty back, come up to the top, squeeze those glutes, and then sit down in a squat for me. Oh yes, we're feeling so on fire here. How those booty, booty spreading. Are you feeling those buns on fire? We have got this. We're gonna keep going all the way through to the end. Anytime that you need to drop those weights, maybe you need to have heavier. Guys, this is not what I typically use. Alfie has had enough, and so has Penny. So guys, I always use, for this kind of thing, I'm using like 25 to 30 pounds in each hand. And I had a question from one of my clients today saying, will I get bulky? No. You have to lift so much weight. I'm talking like hundreds of pounds and eat lots and lots of food. Okay, squat down. Okay, you've got a 15 second rest. We're gonna go into our next exercise. We are gonna go and we're gonna go drop down to the ground and we're gonna do some leg circles. So you're gonna extend your right leg out and we're just gonna circle around. So keep those arms nice and straight. This is a great exercise if your wrists are sore. So instead of being flat here, you can actually come up, use your weight, and your wrists are gonna be nice and in line. So they're not bent. This is a great exercise too if you're struggling with planks. A nice, easy one to use. That's it, twist it round. Whew. So I'm going anti-clockwise here. We're gonna go both legs, just 45 seconds on each side, anti-clockwise. And you start to feel that burn in your butt. Yes, we've been waking up all those major muscle groups. Whew. That glute is a big, big muscle, and we have been getting it on fire. That's it. Just keep breathing with me. You've got less than 10 seconds on this side. Ooh, lift that chest up for three, two, one. No rest, guys. Okay, we're gonna give you 15 second rest. You can kind of come sit back here, give me a child's pose, wiggle out your chest, shake it out a little bit, and get ready for that other side. So grab hold of those weights. Hands directly underneath those shoulders. Extend that foot out, point it, and we are going to go clockwise. <laughs> that really does kind of like test your balance and testing your motor skills as well. So keep everything else nice and in line. So you wanna tuck your hips underneath, you'll pull your ribs down, you wanna lengthen that back, have your arms nice and straight, like a slight bend just to provide a little bit of support for those joints, and then extending that leg right out to the back. Oh yes, you guys are doing so great. Let's keep up this good work. I wanna see it guys, I wanna see how much do you want it. Keep breathing. We have got just 10 seconds to go. Try and keep that leg nice and straight for me. You've got this, keep on pushing through. Take a breath in and give me two more and release. Okay, you're gonna come back up to standing. We've got two exercises left, just two to go and then you are finished. So this next one we're gonna do is we're gonna pulse, pulse and then we're gonna jump. Okay, take a breath in. Let's get started. Let's go. So one, two, three, and a little jump. One, two, three. And if you don't want to jump today, okay, all you need to do, take it out to the side on those jumps. So three little pulses, and take it into a little squat jump. So three, two, one, and jump. Isn't this easy? This is the fun part. Just really getting that sweat on, doing the last bit. We've got one more exercise after this. You're going to crush it. Those glutes are on fire. My glutes are on fire. 20 seconds left here. Try and get a little bit lower. Get a little bit higher. Breathe <laughs> and smile. So many things to remember. One, two, three. If you want to make it even harder, the last five seconds, let's go up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we've got one more exercise left. You guys can do this. All we're going to do is you're going to alternate. You're going to take it down and back together. Take it down, this is the last time. Really make sure that you're pushing all of that weight into that supporting heel. So chest up, keep it nice and long. 
push into that heel to bring your body back up. So it's a nice slow motion. Take it down, push into that heel, squeeze those glutes. Every time that you're doing a glute workout, working that butt, you want to squeeze. Even if you're going shopping, you're in the grocery store, just squeeze your glutes. <laughs> and you're really important. If you do want to build muscle, you need the right post recovery shape. I've been using the same one for five years, and I would say it's working pretty well. <laughs> so let's take it down. We've got 15 seconds left of this workout. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, 10 seconds to go. Work on that balance. Squeeze those glutes as you get to the top every single time, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and you can release those weights. The timer is complete. We guys did amazing. There you have it. There is a great booty sculpt workout that you can do that's gonna really accentuate that rear area of your body. Make sure that you increase the weight. You want the last couple of reps to be really heavy. And of course, if you want those ultimate results, know that 80% is nutrition, 20% is fitness, and 100% is your mindset. So with that being said, make sure that you hit me up for your nutrition plan, and I'll see you guys on the next workout. Bye-bye. Oh.